Well, bro, bro JT, I, I told you, man, me and that online thing, we just don't have no, we don't have no luck at all. We just don't have no good relationship. That online video thing on YouTube, this is the second time now I'm trying to get this here video response back to you. I had already made one, but uh, in the process, I made a mess on it, so I had to redo it. And I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to try to uh, get it the way I had it before because it'll never happen. But I was speaking of, man, you know, you just do what God tell you to do, man, whatever it is. You don't have to explain to me or nobody else. And I wanted to say, you know, like I said, you, uh, I noticed that, that I made a reference to what God made Moses and fashioned Moses to lead the children out of Israel. He raised him up in the house of Pharaoh. Moses was the captain of the Egyptian host. He was commander. God fashioned him for leadership. And then he put him in the, gave him the role of leading his children out of Egypt. But you know what, now? It's over a million people, I think, came out of Egypt. But only two of them made it to the promised land. Two people out of all those people that left Egypt, only two of them, the original one, made it into the promised land. You know why? Complaining and murmuring, bitching and complaining, I call it. God hates a complainer, man, because you're saying you're not grateful. That's what complaining is. You're not grateful for what you have. But at any rate, leaders sometimes lean one way or they'll lean this way. And it's a danger when you start doing that because everybody in the church wants you to be on their side, right or wrong. And they'll do little special favors for, I've seen it happen, they'll do special favors, give them an extra $20, extra $40, and slip them in, they'll slip a pastor money on the side, that's for them to try to keep them to lean to their side and be, to be with them what they want, right or wrong. God is looking at that man and he's not pleased with that. I don't, I'm the middle man not going to take part in that kind of activity. No, I don't, the pastor ain't got to be with me. But if I'm right, if he if he's right, he'll be with me regardless. I don't have to slip him twenty dollars for him to be with me or she. I'm not gonna do that. If you want to do something nice for the pastor, do it. You just do that. Do it. Period. Don't do it with no ulterior motive. Because you want your way. But that's 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 prevailing in most of our churches now. But when it comes to doing what you must do, bro, you got to do it. Because let me tell you something now. Let me let me let me let me let me let me put a bug in here. Did you not know the same people that Moses was trying to lead to the promised land? The same one that he was trying to get and lead and doing all he could for. Those are the same people that kept him out the promised land by they bitching and complaining. It made ain't Moses so mad at him until he made him drink the waters of strife. He disobeyed God. And, and that kept him from going to the promised land. The same people he was trying to help get that, they kept him out of it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Keep fooling with folk. Folks will mess you up. Folks will mess you up. So I look at people like that, man, and they got respect of people. I mean, it's like I told you, I gave you your credit for how you come and you'll check up on me every now and then. I like that. I appreciate that. Some people will do it. Some people that got some good character. Then you got other people that, whether for whatever reason it might be, some people just don't really think. You got people that never want, that never call your name until they need you to do something. That's when they remember you. But nevertheless, on the contrary, if you got any God in you at all, you 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 overlook that and you go on and help them anyway. If I can do you a certain way, bro, JT, well, if bro Hardencliffe is in the same predicament, I should be able to do the same thing for bro Hardencliffe. I, I mean, if I can do it for you, I should be able to do it for brother Hardencliffe. You, know, you see what I'm saying? But see, we, we, see, we people, we got respect. We got certain folk. Now, you can't treat everybody the same. I tell people that all the time. They, I've, I've gotten into it. Some people that got that they got totally offensive with me when I told them that, and I, I but you know me, I don't care. I'm gonna stand flat footed, and I'm gonna. I said, no, you cannot treat everybody the same. I said, I'm gonna prove it to you. You can treat everybody right, 
but you cannot treat everybody the same. Do you treat, if you were married, you don't treat no other woman in the street the way you treat your wife, do you? No. You can't treat her like that. It's just like a woman. If she's married, she don't cook breakfast up for the man next door. She cook breakfast for you. But do that mean she's doing wrong because she's not doing no, she don't she's not expected to cook no breakfast for the man next door. You cook for your household. So is that treating everybody the same? No, it's not. But if the man next door is sick and needs some help, then you do what is right. You can help them. That's a total different ball game. But yet and still, you got people all they get up in church, they're telling a lie. I treat everybody the same. You're a lie. You don't treat everybody the same. Because you won't even speak to me. Just because of the fact that I didn't agree with something you said. And so you are not, now you're not speaking to me, even though I might have been right. So are you treating me the same? No. People need to stop lying, man. So now how come I say, dog, them videos you were doing, I saw your tutorials, or them keyboard, man, I love them. Yes, I do. I love them tutorials, man, where you get that beat going, to, 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 and that keyboard, man, I love it. But many men ain't got nowhere to put you. You got to do what God say do. If God tell you to do something, one thing, that's what you need to do. You ain't got to explain to me and nobody else. You just do. Because one thing about it, God is the one going to do the judging. So I know a lot of us, we love to get something, and, you know, we love to get something free. I, I, I mean, and some people are not going to help you regardless of what. And I made a statement not too long ago. I've always, I've, I said that I'm not going to worry about people not coming. I'm not going to look for people because people don't have to do nothing for you. We understand that. Nobody does. But, you know, we should do what we can. If you have the love of Jesus in your heart, you would want to come to the aid of people. Jesus always had compassion. Look at it all through his ministry. And you see where the word said Jesus had compassion on the people. He 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 always wanted to come to the aid and he he did for people. So if you got that nature of Christ in you, that's the way you're gonna to want to be too. Even if you're not like that at this very moment. The more we walk with Christ, the more he's God is shaping us into the image of Christ, we're gonna become that way, even if we're not there right now. We're going to come to the place where we'll have compassion. So with that said, man, I just, I ain't even did my word for the day right now. I just looked at the video and I saw you talking about Paul on the road and about being in Damascus and Jerusalem. But you notice that most of the opposition comes from the church. That's most of where your opposition going to come from. Because in the church, man, we got all type of people. Everybody in the church is not saved. Uh, everybody in the church is not saved. Uh, we, 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 you got to be well. You, you test the spirit, like Papa JT said. You test the spirit by the by the spirit. The Bible tell you that. So you know everybody just because everybody said law, law, they're not going to enter into the kingdom. But Jesus said to the one that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. In other words, the two. What are the great commandment, man? What are the great commandment? Love the Lord. Hear ye, O Israel. The Lord our God is one God. You must love Him with all your heart, your soul, your mind, spirit, body, whatever. And the second one is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two, rest all the law and the prophet. That being said, man, this is Man saying peace. Goodbye.